What grinds my gears? The expression, what grinds my gears, grinds my gears. Being tagged to do a video about what grinds my gears, grinds my gears. People who drop litter, grind my gears. Oh, I'm not going to keep on saying it. I'm just going to use the word hate. I hate injustice. I hate dishonesty. I hate the Pope and everything that he stands for. I hate it when, when it's raining. A raindrop manages to find this extraordinary path down the back of your neck and runs down your back. I hate it when I accidentally bite my tongue or stub my toe. I hate the fact there are so many posts in the road and on the pavements. Bus stops, lights, street names, signs. Just count them next time you're out. There's so many of them. I hate discourtesy. I hate it when people break into my house and steal my computer and with it the extensive porn collection that has taken me the best part of five years to build up. Ah! I hate it when people are messaging me when I'm trying to record a video. I hate excessive body hair. I hate waste and climate denialists. I hate ignorance. I hate those that can't say, I don't know. I hate my ignorance and stupidity and the fact that there are certain things that I know I will never be able to understand or appreciate. I hate growing old. I hate bigotry, discrimination, intolerance, racism. I hate the indoctrination of children. I hate avocados, but not as much as I hate olives. I hate misplacing things and the amount of time I've got to spend looking for them. I hate violence and wars and the glorification of war. I hate funerals and the hypocrisy that goes with them. I hate car alarms that keep on going off all the time. I hate all Americans. And I hate it when people don't understand when I'm having a joke. I hate rainy days and Mondays. They really get me down. Rainy days and Mondays really get me down. I hate arrogance and pride. I hate feeling jealous. I hate those people that wear their trousers halfway down their legs. I mean, what's that all about? I hate washing up and cleaning. I hate the fact that I can't sing or dance, but most of all, I hate pseudo-intellectuals. I'm talking here about those that think that I'm going to be impressed because they use big words and cover up for the fact that their arguments are vacuous. Those who think that putting the word philosophical before the word argument somehow improves the argument. It doesn't. It's an argument. Do they really think I'm going to be impressed or mesmerised by the fact they know a few big words? Or that their loquacious language is going to cover up for the fact that they don't actually have anything to say? I hate those that presume, because I make such comments, I've got no respect for philosophers. Bit of a hard charge to maintain when I've got three philosophers on the charity event in a few months' time. I hate the fact that they think they're being original or interesting. It may seem somewhat impressive on Blog TV or Stickam, or at some mundane dinner party, but it doesn't impress me that you've got the faintest idea that you know what you're talking about. The fact that you can throw into a conversation words such as epistemology, an ontology, an existentialism, or, as I was called recently, a flaming positivist. So, with all those things that grind my gears, it's hardly any wonder that I'm a grumpy, miserable old man. Or, as I was called recently, a flaming positive. A flame. Or, as I was called recently, a flaming positive. It. Positivist. Or, as I was called recently, a flaming positive. <laughs> a f or, as I was called recently, a flaming positive. <laughs> or, as I was called recently, a flaming positive. <laughs> God. <coughs> How do you say that word? Positive. Positivist. Or, as I was called recently, a flaming positivist.